My, we've gathered quite a few people. So, let our leader declare his intentions. Just what do you think you're doing on my land? I hope you ungrateful rogues are fully prepared to die here and now. Get them. If, if you people really want this land, uh, then let's make a deal. Uh, how much will you pay? Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Don't be ridiculous! Beat it! Huh? Uh, That's right! Your words mean nothing to us! You scumbag! Uh, I've heard enough. Let's head back for now. Keep walking! Oh my God. Come on, we don't need you anymore! Damn it! Out of my way! Ow! Sir, it's them. They've returned to Rosaril and reclaimed it. I see. You may go. Yes, sir. That's the group that's apparently been uniting the islands. What shall we do? Shall we prepare the fleet? No, forget about Rosaril. If we just keep Obel and its surrounding areas secure, the Rune won't get that far. I still have my suspicions. Is the true rune such an important thing? I assume you have never seen it then. What are you getting at? You would have to see it in person to realize its full potential. Oh yes, this is also a direct commission from His Majesty of Kuluk. His Majesty wishes to offer the rune to Harmonia, probably in exchange for military backup. <coughs> Do you understand now? Are you saying we are merely a tool for rune hunting? What of the governor's policy of advancing southwards? We are acting under that policy. The plan is already in motion. Yes, the governor's policy and our goal. I came to the backwaters of El Il with the governor because we had common interests. Regardless of what you think, I am not lying. Now, please continue to guard the Kingdom of Obel. So the Rune's whereabouts will determine how we treat the Kingdom of Obel. Is that what this means? Oh yes. The Governor is apparently under the weather. He has given me the right of command for now. I expect much from both of you in the field. I would like to avoid any more losses to our fleets. Yes. You two are the only ones to whom I can entrust the fleets. I am counting on you.
Is this truly what His Majesty had in mind? Sir Troy, you shouldn't voice such reckless thoughts. You'll never know who might be listening. Hmm? <gasps> Indeed. Hmm. Is it all right now? Between you and me, I'm worried about the governor. Cray said he was ill, but I have a feeling Cray may have done something. What? I had it looked into, but no one has seen the governor these last few days. I sense something is amiss. It's also possible that the southward advancement policy from the previous governor has been halted. It's unlikely, but could the Central Committee be... We cannot deny that as a possibility. There are especially many among the Elders who are calling for sanctions against the Scarlet Moon to the north. <sighs> so in that case, how should we act? For now, at any rate, we should probably first confirm whether this situation is in accordance with His Majesty's wishes. But now is not a good time. Obel is in danger of being retaken. With your permission, I must return to the Second Fleet immediately. Sir Troy, please wait aboard the First Fleet's flagship until further notice. I will do everything in my power to stop them. Colton, do not push yourself too much. Sir Troy, you are still a young man. It is your generation that will build the future of this country. However, it is my generation that bears the responsibility for your future. I just feel the current situation may be more dangerous than we had originally thought.
Someday, 
I promise. I will restore the knights to their old glory. Please wait just a while longer. It's a pirate!
Snow, so you're a pirate now? Shut up! I can do what I want! What should we do? I just can't bring myself to work with you. I don't understand. Why do people flock to you so much? People just keep leaving me. Why doesn't anyone like me?